Hello, so in this video I'm going to be making a, a realistic uh, stone path. So the first thing I do in Substance Designer is I use a tile sampler. Um, if you're ever making like um, brick, uh, things like stones or anything that's somewhat geometric, I think the tile sampler is a good way to start. And obviously I have a few references. I'm not necessarily basing this off one specific reference. I want to use them all in combination and create kind of my own thing, but obviously uh, you want to base it on reality if you're making something realistic. And so here what I'm doing is first I want to change the um, variation on the edges of the, of the stones here, of the blocks. And so I'm using the flood fill with a random gradient and then using a history and scan to create more edge variation, more edge wear. And so that the blocks are not entirely uh, perfect and geometric. And then I'm blending in some then I'm blending in some warp nodes here to change also the uh, no, to, just to add more variation and uh, make sure it's not completely they're not perfect uh, blocks essentially. So the thing about Substance Designer is that it's a lot of um, trial and error sometimes. So here I want to add more variation to the top so that there's some noise on it. And I'm going to use that flop fill mapper node to do that. And that's just to change uh, the texture that I'm using for the noise so that it's not, uh, so that I'm not just applying it on top, but I'm just adding some variation to that as well. And then for the colors of the uh, stones, I'm using a gradient and I'm also sampling the colors from the image, from the reference image. So that's I think that I really like about um, when you're making realistic uh, materials, is you can always sample colors from real images for the uh, color map. And then here what I'm creating is, I'm creating like some greens, um, it's not necessarily grass, but it's just like greens that will go between the uh, the blocks here. And I also want there to be like a floor before that, kind of like dirt underneath um, the blocks. So I'm using a height blend obviously to uh, combine these two. And then I'm going to use another high plant, and that's when I introduce the um, uh, the greenery. And here I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to try a few more different colors for the um, first for the dirt. It's going to be more like a brown. Uh, color dirt and I'm going to sample uh, the green color for the the green parts and then I'm also going to try a different noise I guess for the top of the bricks the one thing you want to do with colors uh, when you're doing realistic is you want to make sure that when you sample colors from real images when you do that sometimes they um the color map looks super noisy and you want to make sure it's not it's not super noisy it's a bit more muted uh, when it comes to colors so that's one thing that i'm trying here so i want to make sure the colors don't look super noisy but at the same time they look a bit more interesting as well Here I'm just trying some blending modes for the um, for the top of the blocks, so there's more variation. Sometimes, like I said, uh, there's a bit of trial and error. I was Substance Designer. You have to try a few different blending modes um, and a few different settings until you get what you're actually looking for.
And here I'm going to enable the um, height map on it. And what I decided to do is I decided to make some pebbles, some small pebbles uh, that will also go between the, um, the blocks just to add more variation because right now it just looks a little bit flat and it would be more realistic if there were small pebbles in those, uh, in those spots and I'm going to mask it so that they only show up between the, um, the blocks and then I'm going to use the height map to combine those two Here I just decided to increase the size of the greens and mask, mask it a little bit more so they don't completely uh, cover everything. And then I'm just going to get a mask uh, for, the, um, for the color of the pebbles as well. And I'm going to just sample some colors for that. And then I just wasn't too happy with the main color of the stones. So I just did another sampling uh, from the image just to get something more interesting. And in fact, I decided to use a different noise uh, to get that instead of using the original one uh, that's being used for the normal map noise. So I think starting to come together here. Uh, one thing I want to start to look into is uh, to add some color variation between the blocks. So to do that, I just used the random flood fill uh, to random color. And then I test some of the blending uh, options here. Obviously, you don't want to make it so that it's too obvious. The color variation is too obvious. You want to make sure it's just a little bit, just slightly noticeable. I also added another flop fill random uh, grayscale just to change the, um, the color of some of the bricks so that some of them are darker than the others. And then I just added a bit more edge wear as well. Then one last thing I did is obviously the um, roughness map and I decided to get it mainly from the color map uh, but I uh, transformed it to a grayscale. I don't want this to be too shiny so I just set it pretty uh, really low roughness. And then I also changed the roughness for the pebbles and the uh, well, it's not necessarily grass but just the greens. So that's pretty much it for this material. Uh, one thing I did do off camera, which I forgot, I thought I was uh, recording, the height map, I did adjust it a little bit so that the uh, grass and the pebbles are included in the height map, but there's a, there's a separate map for that so that it's not too strong and it was a bit more subtle. So anyway, here's the final render. Uh, obviously, I used uh, Marmos the Tuba for the render. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel as well. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video. Do you see this environment right here? I made this really quickly using Maya, ZBrush, Substance Painter, and Substance Designer and Unreal Engine. You too can make something like this really easily and in a short period of time. To make an environment like this one, all you have to do is make a few simple props, put them together in the reel, and then simply add some lights and you're pretty much done. So hey, this is only a 45 second ad, so there's not enough time for me to cover everything. So click on the link below now and I will show you exactly how I made this environment. The best thing about learning how to make an environment like this one is that you can simply use the same techniques to pretty much make any other type of environment. Oh, and by the way, you don't need to be an expert already in order to learn how to make something like this. You can follow along without any prior knowledge. I will be showing you the basics on how to use Maya, 
ZBrush, Substance Painter, Substance Designer and Unreal Engine so you can follow along without any issue. Like I said, this is a very short video so I don't have enough time to explain everything so click on that link below and I will show you exactly how this is done. And by the way, I don't know how long I'm going to be doing this for so click on that link now so you don't miss out.